All right, so we're gonna do PNF repeated contractions for the knee. So this is a strengthening technique. When we talk about repeated contractions, just as a reminder, we're only providing resistance in one direction or one pattern. So when we say knee extension, I'm gonna be resisting my patient as she extends the knee. And with PNF, we have two different options. We have knee, extent, knee extent, extension external rotation, and we have knee, ext, ext, geez, knee extension internal rotation. So we're gonna start with knee extension external rotation. And when we say rotation, we're talking about what's happening at the tibia. So just with other techniques with repeated contractions, the distal component is gonna stay locked in. So my patient's gonna be relaxed here to start with, and because we're coming up and in, and essentially down and out, this table leg can create a problem. So I'm gonna have you scoot over to the edge just till you hit my hand. There we go, you feel stable there. Okay, so patient's gonna start just in a relaxed position. I'm making sure that I'm gonna position myself in the groove as best I can. So she's coming up and in, so I'm gonna be just a little bit, um, medial to like straight ahead okay so that i can provide good resistance some people like to do this on the chair i prefer to just kind of get an athletic stance and and do it standing so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go toes up and then you're going to bring your foot up to the ceiling that's perfect so you're just going to keep your foot in this position the whole time okay the distal hand placement is going to be on the dorsum of the foot. We're using lumbrical grip, so I'm not wrapping my hand around and grasping the foot. I'm using more of a lumbrical grip. This hand is going to be providing resistance on the medial aspect of the calcaneus to help provide resistance for that external rotation of the tibia. So we've got our toes up, foot up. So I want you to bring your knee up. So kick up straight and turn your heel in. Okay, and then when you go down, you're just gonna do this under your own strength. And as you go down, you're gonna bend the knee and, and rotate your heel out this way, okay? So you're gonna go back down, heel out. Keep your toes up, foot up the whole time, perfect. Okay, toes up, foot up, and kick up towards me, heel in, and back down. Good, keep going. I'm gonna start providing a little more resistance now. Go ahead, knee up, heel in, push up, heel in, good. Keep going, push up, heel in, heel in, heel in, good, back down. Push up, heel in, keep your toes up, foot up. Push up, heel in, good, and push up, heel in. I'm gonna just make one modification. If your patient is post ACL reconstruction, this hand placement can create quite a bit of stress on that graft. So it's better to try a little bit more of a proximal hand placement if your patient is post ACL reconstruction. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna keep my hand here this time instead. Go ahead and push up. So having a little bit more proximal hand placement, good, push, 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 protects that graft a little bit. Okay, good job. Okay, 